hello beautiful people welcome back once again to my channel this is my soul's kitchen and i hope you're all doing well and keeping safe it's nice to have you here so it is another snack recipe we are making our ghana pound cake so please let's get started part of my sub's kitchen you proud to be part of my sub's kitchen I have here my flour, I have my vanilla, pineapple and nutmeg, unsalted butter and baking powder right there. I have my salt, my eggs, granulated sugar and my evaporated milk. So let's get started. So I have here my stand mixer. I'll go ahead and add my unsalted butter into my stand mixer. It is very soft in a room temperature. I'll list all the ingredients in the description box below. I'll now go ahead and add in my granulated sugar and then start mixing all this together until it becomes well mixed and fluffy. Now I'll go ahead and grate my nutmeg and then prepare my dry ingredients. I'll add in some salt add in my grated nutmeg for a very good taste and add in my baking powder and mix this all together very well and then set it aside let's check our butter and see just look at our butter it is still making progress it is still mixing at a point you have to open it and feel it to see if you can feel some sugar in there you don't have to feel any sugar in there it has to be really mixed up and fluffy until the color changes to pale right so here we have our texture that we're going for we will now add in our eggs and i'm adding the eggs in bits i'll mix this up for about two minutes and then add some of the eggs and then mix it again for about two to three minutes and then stop it up and then My add the rest kitchen. of the eggs if today is your first time stopping by a warm welcome to you do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be first to know so now we will go ahead and add our dry ingredients into our wet one we will add our flour in bits and then mix it very nicely just look at this beauty and then add a bit of the flour add our evaporated milk onto it and then mix this nicely if you don't have a stand mixer please feel free and use a hand mixer or any other equipment that you feel you can use I'll add in my pineapple and my vanilla extract, add in the rest of our flour, add our evaporated milk and then mix this all together. Just look at that. It looks so nice and fluffy. We have a very nice texture here. Beautiful. So we go ahead and prepare our baking things for this beautiful cake. I'll spray in with some oil. If you don't have the spray, you can feel free and use butter. We go ahead and pour in our butter into our things. Just look at this beautiful, beautiful butter. I'm preheating my oven at 180 degrees. Just look at this. You shake it a bit so everything will be well well settled in it and the air packets will be removed our cake goes right into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and then we will check it later to see just look at this and to see if your cake is done you have to insert a skewer or a toothpick in there and when it comes out clean then it means it is done just look at this beauty and my house is smelling so so good 
just look at this we will let this cool off on the wire rack then we will go ahead and remove it from our baking things beautiful if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be first to know and to my returning subscribers, God bless you. I love you and I appreciate you so, so much. Just look at this. Amazing. It came out really, really nice. Just look at this beauty. Beautiful. If you really like this video, please give me some thumbs up, comment, like and share this video with your family and friends just look at this beautiful cake it tastes really nice and it smells amazing i will list all the ingredients in the description box below do not forget to check it out until i come your way next time with another delicious recipe bye for now smack like eater